world, my name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel video, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the part two, part two of my part four little thing of my movie collection. Because as I said in the first part, the first, the whole thing that I did yesterday was like 79 minutes long. And I didn't think about doing it until today. So we're going to be doing part two of this. And uh, we're going to be doing 90s movies that I own. Uh, and so with that said, let's get started talking about 90s movies that I own on DVD or Blu-ray. Alright, so the first movie that we have here is the first two Adams Family movies. Um, I have never seen any of them, but leading up to the new one that's coming out in October, I will be re I will be watching all of them, even like the little TV movie, or I don't even know how many there are, but I do have a series planned for the new one coming out, and um, so I don't I, I'm not sure I'll be watching it on this DVD, because you know it's kind of old, and as you can probably see, it has, has like scratches and everything, but uh, yeah, so um, I will I will probably be watching these movies if it's free somewhere else. Not on DVD, because this DVD does not look good. Next up, we have... Oh, yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to look at my list here. Next up, we have The Lion King. One of, if not the best animated film of just all time. It's just fantastic. The animation is amazing. The characters are all likable. The themes in this movie are great. The music, the songs, the... Everything in this movie is just fantastic. But what really makes this movie so good is I love how at the when Simba, Nala, Timon, and Pumbaa go back to Pride Rock and they're like teaming up and trying to find a way to defeat Scar. I love how Timon and Pumbaa are like the really good characters and they, they like help out Simba, but they still do with the Kuna Matata. And I, I really like that. So all the songs are just great. Everything about this movie is fantastic. Next up we have the Jungle Book 1994. So when I bought this movie, I actually was, like, I was dumb. Because I bought this movie back when the um, 2016 Jungle Book was coming out. And I was like, yes, I'm so excited. I need to see this so quick. And I realized that th I bought th that this is not the 2016 version. This is the 1994 version. The first Disney remake that came out back, back then. Back, back when. And, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, enjoyable film uh it, it has some good it has a good cast it does feel like an i, I kind of like how it feels like this 90s uh it feels like a 90s animal documentary that i kind of like so it has some likability to it next up we have balto um this is a movie that i kind of grew up with but um in the early years i i grew up with sprout so they would play different movies on and Balto was one of those movies that was on Sprout. And ever since then, I've always enjoyed it. And I'm glad I got the DVD of it. Because it's just freaking amazing. Now, it's not the best movie ever in the world. But it is a very enjoyable film. With likable characters played by Phil Collins. Uh, Balto himself is just kind of an interesting character. There are some pretty good animation bits. And Jim Cummings as Steel is kind of enjoyable so there's some enjoyable things to it but the story the way it kind of works it's not the best but it's still enjoyable next up we have another dvd here matilda so i actually reason i actually just watched rewatched this well watch during dinner like literally like last like two nights ago and i've always loved this movie it's just a blast to see uh, this girl that was really just tortured Well, not tortured, but like she was being so mean to Her parents were mean to her her his bro her brother was mean to her and Then you have her teacher who is just this kind and sweet lady But then the principal actually turns out to be her like like her aunt and but also as well as the principal of the school and it's like this just turned into a whole different thing like this movie is just amazing. The soundtrack is pretty good. And the whole cast is just great. And it's just one of the best movies of the 90s. 
Um, next up, we have Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World. This is a movie that I bought at Goodwill. I don't really know why I did. I guess because I liked Beauty and the Beast and I wanted to see what it was like. I started watching it, but I, didn't, I don't think I finished it. But it's a fine, okay movie. It's not the best movie in the world. It's, uh, I mean, I haven't seen the full thing yet, but I will probably one day. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really like it. That's just it. Next up, we have The Lion King to Simba's Pride. This is a movie that I think there's parts of it that I think I kind of like in the original. In the ori I think I, obviously, nothing, n none of the Lion King movies that have come after the original one have beaten the the original because the original is just like so good this one i think it does a good story with kind of returning the followers of scar like hyenas weren't the only followers of scar lions were too kind of i kind of like that twist of it um i i really like zero's motivation zero it was just such a great villain the songs in here were really beautiful um, he Lives in You, Upendi, We Are One. The songs are in here are just memorable for me. Um, I like them. Uh, the animation is kind of weird. There is a scene where Timon and Pumbaa, Kiara, and Kovu are chasing, like, birds and rhinos. Well, actually, they're getting chased by birds and rhinos. And, I mean, I guess that scene is kind of okay-ish. It kind of shows Kovu that he needs to have fun since he's b basically done serious stuff all his life in the Outlands. But overall, it's a good movie, and the, the theme in the movie, once you get to the end of it, about all lions are one and the same, I kind of like that theme, so I really like that. Next up is Tarzan. One of, if not, one of the best Disney animated movies of all time. And now, it's not my top favorite, not like Lion King. Nothing can beat Lion King. But this is a really good Disney film. The animation is just absolutely beautiful. The music in here, played by that Phil Collins sings in here, is just amazing in the way he incorporated it. The characters are likable. The the songs, um, especially the one that they do with the human stuff, I love that song. It's just just all around fun and just funny, and it's just so good. It's one of the best films of the '90s that ends this era. Then we got Elmo and Grouchland. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 never mind. Wait, that, that movie comes last. First, the next, the last one is Stuart Little 1. I was about to say Stuart Little 2. Um, Stuart Little 1, I enjoy it. It's definitely enjoyable. The way it kind of started out this whole little, this whole trilogy, I thought it was great. The, the, the soundtrack is amazing. Um, Stuart Little is just a cute character, played by Michael J. Fox, as I watched Back to the Future a couple weeks ago. So he was a great, uh, Nathan Lee, no wait, is it? Yeah, Nathan Lee, I believe. Yeah, Nathan Lee. Nathan Lee as Snowbell in this film is great. The whole other, the whole live action cast is great. And everybody in my family keeps saying that I look like George, which is just crazy because I don't anymore. But when I was little, I think I did. But, uh, yeah, really enjoyable little film. And the last movie, now I can finally talk about it, is... Elmo in Grabsland. So, as I talked about Follow That Bird in the last, uh, in the first part of this little series, this movie, it's okay. I, I mean, I love it, but I don't think it has that originality factor of it. Like, all the characters are great. The songs are great. The music is incorporated in very cool ways. The characters are fun. So, with Huxley, so, um, uh, Vanessa Williams as the Queen of Trash. This movie's just a ton of fun with the music. The, everything about it is just great. But the specific premise of Elmo get, getting his blanket lost into Oscar's trash can and then going to this whole Grouchland world just never seemed like, like, why would you choose that specific character to go to that specific land? And that just doesn't make sense to me. And also, Oscar doesn't really... I think he does kind of have a little bit of a good moment in this film when he actually realizes that Elmo is his friend and he unites all the grouches of Grouchland to stand up to Huxley. Uh, and I thought that was a great thing. But the premise is just kind of weak. And that's the all the movies that I own of the 90s. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is Marvel6 and my TikTok name is MarvelFan. If you guys don't understand those names, head to my bad section so you can follow me on all social media. Guys. I'm also on Letterbox. It's his Instagram, R underscore six underscore. Um, and please go follow my letterbox. I my movie collection on there is on there. And also, I'll see you guys in the next part and we'll be talking about two thousands movies. So see you guys in that part.